in Luke 3, 21 through 22, says, When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended in bodily form, like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven which said, You are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. Ephesians 430 30-32 And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Psalm 36, 8 and 9. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. John 737 through 39 On the last day that great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried out saying If anyone thirsts let him come to me and drink He who believes in me as scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers of living water But this he spoke concerning the spirit whom those believing in him would receive for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Hebrews 12 1 Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Isaiah 12, 2 and 3 Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Romans 14.17 For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Second Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Exodus 13, 21 and 22 And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day, or the pillar of fire by night, from before the people.
Acts chapter 2, verse 3. Then there appeared to them divided tongues, as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. First Thessalonians 5, 19 through 21. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Genesis 2-7 And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. Song of Songs 416 Awake, O north wind, and come, O south. Blow upon my garden that its spices may flow out. Let my beloved come to his garden and eat its pleasant fruits. Isaiah 28, 11 through 12. For with stammering lips and another tongue, he will speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Luke 4.1 Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan. Luke 2.45-47 So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. John 3, 5 through 7, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. John 16, 13 through 14. However, when he, the Spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you of things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Luke 4.1 Then Jesus, 
being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for forty days by the devil. 1 John 2.15-17 Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. John 16.33 These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Luke 4.14 Then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went out through all the surrounding regions. Galatians 6, 7, and 8 Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever man sows, that will he also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Acts 10:38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Acts 6.8 And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Acts 7.51 you stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. First Corinthians 2.4 And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Revelation 5.10 And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. 1 Corinthians 6.19 Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? Revelation 7.9 After these things I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. Romans 12.1 I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. 2 Corinthians 3.18 But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into that same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Second Peter 1.4 by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust.
Ephesians 4.24, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Galatians 6.8 For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Hebrews 4.12 For the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Matthew 11.30 For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Philippians 4.9 The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Second Corinthians 13.14 The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 10, 41 and 42. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. 1 John 2, 20. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. First Samuel 3.10 Now the Lord came and stood and called as other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant hears. Romans 14.17 For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Colossians 3.16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another, in psalms, and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 18 and 19 And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Psalms 133, 1-3 Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, 
running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Luke 19.17 And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you are faithful in very little, have authority over ten cities. Acts 2.17 And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. Matthew 25:21 His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Psalm 91.1 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. John 4.34 Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. 2 Timothy 2.1 You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 8.34 Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. Ephesians 4, 11, and 12 And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. John 14, 12 Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Luke 10, 17 Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Hebrews 4.15 
For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Matthew 5. 46 through 48. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do so. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Luke 23, 34, Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. First Corinthians 12, 7 through 11, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each, one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, and to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. First Corinthians 13.2 If I have the gift of prophecy, and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. John 10:27 My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me First Samuel 2:18 But Samuel ministered before the Lord even as a child wearing a linen ephod First Samuel 3, 1 Samuel 3.1 Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. 
there was no widespread revelation. Second Timothy 1 6 Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Joel 2.28 And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Job 22.28 You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. First Peter 4.11 If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work.